Hello everyone, I'm Vincent from Pixfellow. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and use Infinity 2. Ok, let's begin. You can use Infinity 2 without toolkit, but I recommend you to use Motion Factory. It is our latest extension for After Effects and Premiere Pro. The installation process is very easy and fast. All you need to do is visit our website at pixelo.net slash infinity and press this button to download it for free. Once you downloaded the ZXP file, you need to install it through a ZXP installer. If you don't have ZXP installer, there's a free tool that you can download and use to install Motion Factory. Just go to this website and get it for free. After an installation, run the ZXP installer and drag the Motion Factory file into this tiny window. Alright, now open After Effects and go to this path, Window, Extension, Motion Factory. If you see two Motion Factory, it's because you have also installed Motion Factory Classic, which contains our popular projects like Action FX, Type Builder, and HUD Builder. But we are not going to use it for Infinity. Let's get back to the new Motion Factory. To import Infinity 2 into the Motion Factory, first you need to unzip the Infinity 2 pack on your hard drive. In this pack, you can find these folders. Two for After Effects CC 2018 or 2019 and one for Premiere Pro CC 2019. You can also find video tutorial and the quick start PDF files. Head back to After Effects and with this blue button, import the folder of Infinity 2. You can find the related version and import it. Now to use items, just drag them to your project panel. You can make a new comp for your shiny project. Then drag Infinity item that you want to use into your timeline. You can see when you select the comp, the panel of Motion Factory automatically switches to the setting of that particular scene. From this panel, you can customize text, colors and more. But if you want to change the font or font size, just double click on the comp to open it and then select the text layer and customize it. Let me change the colors a little bit. Also single scenes have a special feature. All the items of this category are responsive. It means you can change the size of the scene in middle of your work without losing the layout. Cool, right? All you need to do is double click on comp and go inside. Now press Ctrl K for Windows or Command K for Mac to open the comp setting. This process is fast because you can see what happens to the size in real time. Also, if you want to change the layout, there are some green markers for this job. These markers won't be on your final render anyway, but you can hide it too from this checkbox. If you select these green move icons, you can move the elements or resize them to your needs. Now I can customize the entire layout however I want. You can mix and match items if you want. Let me add a background to our scene. Remember you can preview all the items by hovering your mouse on thumbnails. You can also double click on items to add it to your project panel. Now you see that when you click on comps, the setting panel just quickly changes. This will really speed up your workflow because you don't need to go inside each comp every time you want to change the settings.
Now let me just remove the background of the first item and polish it. Well, let's make another scene, because it literally just takes a couple of minutes. Also, the same process goes for Premiere version 2. Just run the motion factory, import the folder, and start using the elements. One quick fact, the panel of motion factory syncs real-time both on Premiere and After Effects. So if you import something, you don't need to import it again on Premiere. Exactly like this new folder here. Let me make a quick scene here on Premiere 2. Alright, that's it for this part. Hope you liked this tutorial. If you have questions, please contact us and our experts reach you as fast as possible. Don't forget to share your love and feedback to us. Till next time, may the creativity be with you. Goodbye.